So everyone and welcome in the first F124 video here on Mega Gaming. Please, before we start, just consider to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't. If you want to play also with me in the future lives, I'm gonna do the first lives tonight, so don't miss it. So here we are in Spain, we're gonna go on settings. We're gonna do assist, I have all of Apart from Petrolis assist that I have turned it off, but I can basically run on Elite. So we're gonna jump simulation settings, that's, you know, I have these, but you can choose whatever you want. Controls, vibration and force feedback, that's crucial. I have G29, uh, so these are my settings. Calibration, I have just all of this, apart from staring li li linearity, sorry, two, uh, because you know with these uh, non-direct -dri drive wheels, it's better to have this two, because it's more, you know, linearity, as he said. So for example, G29, but also Thrustmaster, T300, T150, that's what I suggest to do, just one, two, three, or five, not not more than five to, in my opinion, so I put it two. Uh, then, vibration and force feedback, these are my settings, I have a G29, I repeat, 300, uh, we're gonna start with vibration and force feedback strength, I put it 95, why not under, because under start to clip, and that's not what we want. So, 95 is a good value, to be honest, I feel comfortable with it, if you have, you know, some like, again, G29, T300, T150, something like that, put it 90, 80, at least 80, 75, 80, and maximum 95, because then we'll start to clip. On track effects, I put 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, that's basically because I want to feel a bit, you know, the curbs, the trucks, the the truck, but not uh, much of it. So I put it very low. Also, wheel damper, I put it two. You can from from zero to one. It changed really. Uh, so try it. Just just try it. Don't don't go uh, above five, in my opinion. So I put it to, I feel pretty comfortable. Maximum wheel rotation, I put it 330. You know, put it uh, not lower than 300, to be honest. And not obviously mo more than 360. So, you know, bet between 330 and 340 is a good value, you know, from to stability, to reaction, uh, so to save the car in some ways and to have the precision so more wheel r rotation you will have more precision but less uh, control when you for example lose the car so I put it 330 you know I want to go maybe th 335 that's good as well so these are pretty much the, the full settings um, but these are so then, yeah, in generic settings here, I put it adaptive, these are my settings, toggle uh, ERS uh, mode, and not hold, I prefer toggle, but is all about it, Logitech True Force Intensity, that's about the Logitech G29, so I put it 100, uh, is the default value, I think, so that's good, telemetry settings, I didn't touch it, EA Music, I yeah, that's also default, but I turned it off. Time trial settings, uh, all off, all off, because uh, I feel much comfortable with, with the settings, you know, all off. Camera customization, that's really good as well. I use TV, TV pod offset because it gives you more mm, precision. Uh, I put it field of view minus 10, minus 12 uh, lateral, so basically to align the car. And field of view, 
just how zoomed is it. So I put it minus 10. Offset horizontal is how far you're gonna go on horizontal assist, obviously. So I put it put it minus uh, 2. As I, oh, sorry, uh, 2 as I said. 70, uh, 17 of lateral offset, so something like that. If you're gonna hide the menu, you know, you can basically see it. Sorry, angle minus 3, I feel comfortable with it as well. Near quick plane 20, 0, obviously camera shake, this is crucial, put it all the way to 0, because let me see if we put to 20, look at when I break. Car should move. Why isn't moving? But okay, should should moving. So should should move, and so put it all the way to zero. I don't know why it didn't move, but okay. Graphic settings. I put it ultra low. We can put it low. You know, for best performance, ultra low is the best thing. Uh, gamma adjustment, I these are the default values. We want to maybe put this to zero. Searing animation on if you want, if you don't want, put it just off. Video mode that's important. They put it window, uh, full screen. But the most important thing is to turn on frame rate limit and put it 59. This will give you, uh, this can give you, you know, more precise during. Maybe change, uh, save it, and we'll give you more. You can take, you know, the curves more aggressively. I was saying. So these are my graphic settings. Accessibility option. I put the subtitles on. Uh, I feel like it's good to have them on. I feel like it's it's better, you know. But you can simply turn it off. Obviously, this I can change. On screen display. That's also crucial. Uh, put it. Uh, these are my settings. I put it all, almost all the overlays at seventy-five percentage of scale. You just select whatever you want. Select uh, hidden if you want to hidden. No, if you don't want it, scale. That's crucial. You know, don't don't go over a hundred. But I feel like you know seventy-five is like the perfect value for almost all of them. Because it gives you a uh, precise, because it it gives you uh, you know all space on the screen, and not a lot from the overlays. Also, the HUD, it's on the halo, you know. That's much. Uh, also, this seventy-five, almost all seventy or seventy-five percent, almost all of them. So just change whatever you want. Uh, these are the full settings, but I want to do track map, full track map. This is better, guys. And if you have track map, a uh, mini map, turn it off, please. This, I feel it's better. But I will do full track map, and that's what are my what my settings are. Are your settings are default? Uh, music, I put it uh, zero. Voice chat volume is. Yeah, 10, but onboard mix is really important. If you play on TV pod, TV pod offset come, I really suggest you to have broadcast, not cinematic as default, but not driver. If, but, uh, you know, if you play on the onboard camera, I feel like driver is better, is much better. Subtitles uh, on, okay, mono mix off, and these are my, you know, our all the default settings uh, so didn't change a lot apart from broadcast and music to zero so AI tracking I have it off and that was my full guide on the assist I, I hope you will enjoy to play this with this assist with these settings in the game we'll see you in live I want to play with you guys smash like button subscribe to the channel for more content like this and as always, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.